Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna Lentz with the Jazz Hands and welcome back to Floss Tube number 33. Okay, it is incredibly windy outside and I just want to, there is a huge bug on my wall. Oh, it is springtime, I gotta take care of that. All right, take two. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been a while and I just, I wanted to record today because it's been so long since I did my Floss Tube, like I'm like awkward to get back into it. And all of the stars are not aligned for me to be recording right now. So let's just address the elephants in the room. One, my glasses have a huge glare on them. I know, I'm sorry. I tried wearing contacts. I walked outside to open up my gate and my contacts were like hanging out my eyeballs. So I was like, not gonna do that. Wore my, I washed my hair last night and I put it in a braid and today it's like, it's on another level. So I tried fixing it and now it's just, it's not, it's not going well. And like my hair is thinning right here. Like I've always had like thin hair right here, but like I have this like, I don't know. Like what do you, what do you call that? Like, the, like I just have like my own little comb overs on each side while I'm getting this like wicked widow's peak. And it's just, that's 35 right now. I, this is, this is me aging and that's okay. Um, I'm starting to take desiccated liver, which is supposed to help with hair growth. And it's like, you know, all the good stuff in collagen and stuff like that, but like different and it helps with iron and, and all of this stuff. It's like a really good natural multivitamin. And so I'm hoping that will help with my volume. Um, I used to have really, really thick hair as a kid and it's just like what my hair is now as like one ponytail is what my hair used to be like when I would like braid it in pigtails is like what it is on one of my pigtails. Like it's like half the volume that it used to be. Anyway, so yes. Um, also, so hi, how are you? <laughs> um, so today we're gonna to be talking about cross stitch. I'm gonna share some crochet and stuff like that at the end and some knitting, some projects that I wanna be working on, but a lot of cross stitch, I have a lot to share with you. Uh, today is Thursday, the 11th of April. So this will either go up today or Friday, I'm not sure yet. Just kinda of depends on how the day goes. Cause we're having a break during homeschool right now. So like, it's like our lunch break right now and we'll see how the day goes. Um, we have been up to a lot. So let's just recap the past few weeks, just some main events. We've had Easter, we had a lovely Easter. We have started going to a new church and at this church, the Easter w was held um, in like a public space and it was like a reach out uh, type of an event, like outreach, outreach event. And they had a helicopter drop like thousands of eggs for the kids and they had for, for the Easter egg hunt, let me, Easter egg hunt. And uh, so they had it separated into two age groups and they let one go first and then they did this, the older kids second on the other field. And it was phenomenal, it was awesome. And uh, I, it was just a wonderful message to do an outreach for people who are looking to bring Jesus into their life and it was wonderful. Um, and so then we went again on this past Sunday, uh, like the actual church loved it. The kids loved it. Um, it's so cool because they had like kids first through fourth grade in their own section. And then they have fifth and sixth graders in their own section, like their own age group. And then they have seventh beyond in, uh, you know, the older kids. So I really appreciate that because Jules is in first grade, Fiona's in fifth grade. And there needs to be that separation when you have that large of a, a, amount of kids. So I guess they had done that age group separation and they reverted back to having like the first through six all together and they were like, no. And so they separated it again recently. And that to me is awesome because I do think that there needs to be that middle separation. They're too old to be the, the fifth, the fifth graders, especially just like they're in that in between phase where they're too old to be with the first graders and they're too young to be with the seventh and up graders. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that is pretty big. Uh, also our homeschool co-op, we had an Easter party with our homeschool co-op, so fun. 
And then uh, they, every other year, will do a family dance in the springtime. Like, we just had one. And then uh, every other year, they'll do a prom. And so last year, they had prom where it was just the older kids. And then this year, it was family dance. And uh, it was awesome. So the four of us were able to go, get dressed up, have nice clothes on, get our pictures taken. Um, and it was masquerade theme. <laughs> And you guys, I didn't put two and two together that masquerade meant mask. And so it was Thursday and Jason, my husband was like, Brianna, it's a masquerade theme. Do you have masks? And I was like, no. So he's like, well, just Amazon it. Amazon wasn't going to be here till Sunday for a mask. So then we went to Hobby Lobby. And so what do you do when you're a maker? You make your own masks right? And so I'll try to insert footage of our masks that we made, but Fiona held me. So basically like it was 3.30 and I was like, okay, it's 3.30 on Thursday. So we have enough time to, to try to make masks tonight. If they don't work out, we can still do it on Friday. But I have a Cricut Maker and I was like, yes, I get to use my Cricut Maker and it worked out great. So um, we used a free downloadable pattern from Jenny Maker, I believe. I'll put the video, I'll link the video down below that we used to make these masquerade masks. But we used um, templates from Jenny Maker, who is like the queen of quick Cricut. And then uh, I used a free, oh well, I have Cricut Design Space that I have for 30 days. And so I used that. I used a free template, but I mean, it was, was it free? It's not free if I don't cancel for 30 days. Anyway, but I used one of those. And so my mask was fun. And so the girls picked out what they wanted to wear that would coordinate with their outfits. And it was just so much fun. It was so much fun. And it was a great way for us to get to know more of the families better and for them to see, uh, you know, us as a family more. So that was really good. Um, and then let's see, oh, we had a, we had a tragedy this week, um, tragedy in our family. One of our dogs passed away suddenly yesterday, actually. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it was, it was unexpected. So our rowdy boy, our, our rescue he was a red healer and um we didn't know how old he was but we assumed he was older and I had began thinking you know um he I think he's a lot older than we we might think and um yesterday he passed away and so that was a big shock to our family he was very very loved um but he lived a very very happy end of his life um so <clears throat> we can take, you know, we just know that we, we did give him the best quality of life that we could give any dog. Um, so that happened. And then, uh, another thing that happened that is not nearly as sad, but there was another death on, you know, our, our homestead or mini farm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you will not be hearing a rooster crowing for a while. Uh, because we ate them. Yeah. Uh, we had a big rooster and a few weeks ago, what? That rooster was bad. Glad he's dead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. That's my oldest daughter. So the, the, we are not sad about the rooster. He had actually attacked me a few weeks ago. Like, and then I was going to go feed our cat a chicken, <laughs> chicken thigh. And I just, I'm always, I was always aware of where he was this particular time. We were by the hot fence. We have our pig hot fence. Jerry, our cat was over here and I had seen chickens, but like, I was just going to go give the cat this chicken thigh and then be on my way. The one time I was unsuspecting, he knew and he wrapped his legs around me and he spurred me and I still have marks. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, we had thought about, okay, we're going to have to get rid of this rooster. And then uh, a couple weeks ago, he went after Jules. And fortunately, we were able to intercept 
the rooster and Jules within just enough time. She had adrenaline kick in and we were like, Jules, you gotta run faster. My husband yelled that at her and she like tripled her speed and got out of the way. And well, the rest is history. Jason took care of it. Well, Jason and Fiona took care of it. Actually, they um, got rid of it and Jules wanted to eat it. So that's what we did. So we cooked it for a long time, long, long time. And she sat there and ate that rooster. And I, I don't think she's ever tasted a better chicken. She was, she took a lot of pleasure in that. Tells a lot about, she's super nice and super sweet and she can be really shy and reserved, but you better watch out. Don't take that kid's kindness for weakness. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, so that was, that was that, but we have a ton more chicks. We have, we got a ton more chicks, um, ready to go. We've got some, we, 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 we've got a lot. I'll, I'll try to write down what I have and I'll share what type of chicks we got next time. And I'll, I'll try to share a video and stuff like that next time. But I'm already 10 minutes in. I've had so much to catch you up on. And that's only been a few things. But those are really big things that happen in our lives. Oh, one more thing is we went fishing yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? No, we went fishing on Tuesday. And because we go fishing all the time. However, Fiona caught her biggest bass of the year. I think, was that your biggest bass to date? Her I think so. She caught her biggest bass to date. And then I caught, I thought it was a huge crappie. Jason said it was just like a, like, like a pretty regular sized crappie, I guess. But for me, it looked huge. Like I pulled it out of the water and I was like, what is it? <laughs> Jason's like, it's a crappie. And I was like, wow. Cause it was like so big and it was so beautiful. And I can't wait to go fishing again. So we've had some good luck. So I've caught a uh, largemouth bass this year, sand bass, crappie, I caught a sunfish and I, oh, and trout. I caught tr uh, trout. So trout, largemouth bass, sand bass, crappie, sunfish. So I need to keep going. I want to catch a drum and I want to catch like a really like big as my face bluegill soon. Can you guys hear the wind? It's crazy. Okay. So I think we are semi caught up. Uh, if you are part of my newsletter, you should have received that April 1st. And I will be having a ton of patterns coming out the beginning of May. Very excited about that. So I'm working on that. Um, I finished my crochet animals, which are over here. You can't see the other one. Boop. And uh, let's see what else. I posted that video. I'm already working on my other crochet animals that I wanted to do. The girls want to set up a booth at our local flea market, which happens the first Saturday of every month. I don't think we're going to be able to do it for May. I think it's just going to be a little bit too busy because Julesy's birthday is May 2nd and that will be Saturday. And I just don't think we have enough time, but we should be able to have more than enough time to be ready to set up something for June. So the kids are going to think of, of things. Jason said I should just do like demonstrations of things, hand out my business card, and I might have some it's hard not to resist to just want to crochet up some things. And so I'm, I'm and I want to make a video about crochet mushrooms. So I'm kind of like, I'm ready to go, but I've got so much stuff that I need to do before I can get to that point. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about these guys at the end. Let's go into stitching. Um, first, what I want to share is I finished and I fully finished. Uh, oh, okay. So I have finishes fully finishes, works in progresses, and I went to the Silver Needle as well. And so I wanna share my haul from the Silver Needle, which is uh, my local needleworks store up in Tulsa, which is like an hour and a half away. But we were going to the zoo, and so I asked if we could go to Tulsa. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll share that story. But the, the first thing that I wanna share is I fully finished, um, what, what is it, tiptoeing through the tulips? Um, Anyway, this is from the Jellybean Jubilee by Brenda Gervais booklet that I shared in my last video. And I'll, I'll link my last floss tube down below. Um, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I actually, so I finished it on that piece that I said I would from Goodwill. And I cut this out a little bit too big. So it, I, I wish that it sh showed a little bit more of the gray, but I'm also happy like that is what my intention was. Like my finish is the exact intention that I had when I was doing it. But now I just feel like it could use, I know, 
it could use pom-poms. Let's just be real. It could use pom-poms around the border and take away some of the space. And I think it would be better, but I'm just not committed. Maybe next year I'll be a pom-pom girl, but this year, this spring, I'm just not there with the pom-poms, but I'm really happy. And I like my pink florals. This is that um, fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. And it is so pretty, so, so pretty. And I absolutely love it. So I darkened all of the colors and this is stitched on... What is this stitched on? Uh, I don't know. Platinum Lugana of some kind. 32 count? Platinum Lugana? Maybe? I think. And I, I just darkened everything. And I didn't add the little extras. But my favorite part to stitch were the bees. I love them. And I really, I'm happy that I uh, darkened up the colors. I like it. I like it a lot. And so I could hang this on the wall, but I have just had it sitting like, like that. So I'm really happy with that. Very happy with that. Um, let's see. I'm just going to kind of go through what I have. So this is in no particular order. We're just going to go through my pile. So there is that finish. Um, I had a lovely friend of mine. We became friends on Instagram. And so we're doing a little bit of a tradesies. So she sent me something and I will be sending her something very soon. Um, and she was so kind. She reached out to me and she had extras. And so she um, she sent me Prairie Schooler. Uh, so nice. So I've got this, this old guy. Um, she sent me a beautiful card. And then uh, some of the little cards from Prairie Schooler, which I have never had before. So I can't wait to stitch these up. They're so small. They're so cute. These would be such cute ornaments on my tree. Or just to stitch, stick them on my hutch. You know how I like to do that. Or little um, pin cushions. So cute. And then she asked me if I would be interested in the lemon tree because she had stitched it and then it, she even included all the threads and I said absolutely because this would totally match my house so um I can't wait to stitch this I want to stitch this this summer because of her kindness for sending it to me I want to make sure I stitch it right away so thank you you know who you are thank you thank you thank you thank you I really appreciate it made my day so yes I can't wait to be sending you your package out Next week, I'm committing, I'm sending your package out next week because I will have what I need to finish done by next week. Accountability, you guys, accountability. All right, next. Uh, okay, where is the rest of this? I, I published a video. Um, first, in my Brianna's vlog number one, I shared how I wanted to make a Prairie Schooler bag and then a, I published a video about my prairie schooler bag. And so I made an entire kit about my spring uh, farm fresh that I told you guys I wanted to do. I want to do that one, the ducks first. I love them all, love them all. I, I, um, I copied it because I am struggling um, with the pattern, not being able to mark off where I am. So anyway, so I made, I think, where is my stuff? Where is my bag? Oh, I put it over here. You guys, this is just a super chill video. I hope you're okay with that. Okay. So I made whoop, my Prairie Schooler bag. So this isn't what I had envisioned, but you guys told me in the comments, um, because I had my drawstring bag and I was going to put vinyl on it and the vinyl would not adhere. But you guys said if I wash my vinyl, my bag, my canvas bag, it will take out whatever is um, not letting the vinyl adhere to it. So I will have a part two, well not a part two, but like another video where I'm making a project bag for a designer and I will be trying that concept again but for a new designer. So I'm thinking, uh, so I have my Prairie Schooler bag and I love it. I'll share more details in a second, but um, I'm going to be doing a Blackbird Designs bag because we all, I mean, I have a ton of Blackbirds and I like to keep it all in like one zipper bag. So I thought, well, a great way to try to retry to do this is my Blackbird bag, which I actually had 
designed for a third party like um like I'd had this designed last year for a print on demand product to put in my Etsy shop. So I've already had this design for a long time and it was my Blackbird bag that I actually used for my Prairie Schooler SVG which you can't see right now but I have in my SV in my Etsy shop, Brianna Lent's shop down below. Um, so I'm going to use that same concept, but use it for Blackbird designs. And I want to try the, the drawstring bag. And anyway, um, so when things didn't go to plan in that video, if you want to see more, you can watch the video link down below. Um, I just decided I had this tote bag in my stash because you never know when you need to like make a last minute gift. So this was a tote bag from Hobby Lobby as well for $3.99. And it's awesome because I like using this for crochet, especially because you can put all your hooks and stuff in here. Um, and it's really big. I think it's a great value for $4. Um, and so I embroidered Prairie Schooler and I attached it using fabric tack glue. And so this is my Prairie Schooler bag. I'm gonna be putting all my Prairie Schooler stuff in here. And I'm going to be making a uh, Christmas set so that way I have all of my Christmas floss in one place and then I can just pick up my prairie school bag anytime I want to stitch on something prairie school related whether it be spring summer fall or winter so this is my prairie schooler bag and I will be stuffing that with like the prairie schoolers that I got from my lovely friend um and I also kitted up like this is one example of one of the SVGs this one adhered um and so in here like I have scissors and needles at all times so I can always just be prepared to stitch on my prairie schooler. See like this is one that it just didn't adhere all the way and so the design has like prairie schooler stitch kit and then the house is on the other side. So again I'm going to try this again. I'm going to wash everything and dry it and then I'm going to try it again and we're going to do it with um, blackbird designs. Like I have this one that I can use um, and I just wanted to keep that to share but yeah I'm really happy with that. So, uh, in that video, I also shared how I used my laminator and my Cricut to make my own floss ring. So this is the kit, kitted floss. Well, I mean, I kitted it up, but I have the, the chart and I laminated it and then I cut it using my Cricut maker cause I already had it ready to go. And then what I did is I had uh, grass paper, which matched the farm fresh idea. It, it came in a multi-pack and I had three of them. And so I laminated the paper and then I used my Cricut maker, created my own template and created my own floss cards. And then I used a paint marker that I had like a, uh, like a five millimeter Posca pen, Uniball Posca pen. And I wrote the DMC on the back and I have used this and this has worked amazingly well. So if you have a laminator and a Cricut, this holds up really good, really, really good. Um, so I have started stitching and I'm using the 18 count ivory Ada, which is called for not going to lie. I'm not loving it, but I will love the, the, the project. I wanted the Ada. I wanted the look of the Ada for the praise schooler, that old school look that is just, I like it. And I haven't stitched on 18 count before other than maybe a dimensions kit a couple of years ago, but I have done the first section because in my mind, I've broken this up into four sections just real quick. I have the flowers and then I have like this line with the duck. That's the second section. Then this third section for me is the water and the ducks. And then the fourth section is the plants and the uh, greenery on the bottom. So I finished the first section, which was a goal of mine to get this finished before I, I didn't iron anything. You all know I don't iron until I have to. I'm just not very good at it, to be honest with you. I don't know how you guys, when you guys use your hoops, how do you guys get your lines out of your linen? I don't know how you do it. I, 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 also, I have another question for you. When you guys are doing samplers and like, let's say like a red sampler. If you remember, if you watched my past videos, I've, I started a sampler from Blackbird Designs and it's a red sampler. Do you guys start and stop your thread for each letter? 
do you do that or do you or do you drag it like if it's like one stitch away or do you not do that because it'll show through the linen I don't know I need to I, I, I if nobody leaves me a comment I'm just gonna have to suck up my pride and ask the gals at the silver needle the next time I'm there but yeah I don't know I, I don't know do you guys see that anyway so I am um <clears throat> I'm loving the look of it but I'm having a hard time like the 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 two threads are catching but that's what it's called for. It's called for two over two on 18 count Ada. And so I didn't know how much space I would need to, to finish the egg. So I thought, well, I'd rather not have, I'd rather have too much space than not enough space because I bought two of those packets. And so I've got technically enough to do one egg and then two eggs, you know, I feel like that's wasting a lot, but I could have this left over on the bottom to do like a Lizzie Kate string or something. So I just wasn't sure. And I figured I bought the fabric for this project. So just be fine with it. Um, yeah, so I got the Ada from Hobby Lobby for $3.99, I think. And it, it's doing the job. Um, let's see in here. I haven't worked on anything in here, but this will be something that I'm actively working on this next week, which is Land of Liberty. My goal by the next time I see you is to have this fully finished. Um, well, like finished, not fully, fully, fully finished. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if fireworks are going off. But that is my goal for Minna Gervais. Um, that was just in my lap, so I thought I'd share it. Also, um, Another thing that I want to be working on before I see you the next time is my knit shirt. Um, I'm going to, I haven't touched this in weeks. And so I want to get back to this. This is the top. And then this, I'm about to separate for the, the yoke and the, the arms, but I got distracted by designing. Oh yeah, that's what happened. I wasn't planning on designing crossage patterns. And then I started designing crossage patterns and this is the thing that I never picked back up. So I haven't touched this in a long time. So hopefully my gauge is the same. I have notes of where I left off. So I'll be able to pick it back up. So let's just, let's just say a hope and a prayer. So that I'll be able to pick that back up as easily as I'm hoping to. Um, Cause that is one of my 24 in 2024 projects. Uh, next time I see you too, I'd like to be able to kind of go through and figure out like what projects I have completed and which ones I still have left to do for my 24 projects in 2024. I did, I'll just show you this now. I did sh finish my panda and my fawn. And this is from the Mama Made Minis uh, Lovey's crochet book. I'll link my review to this video down below. Um, but in my last video, I said that I didn't follow the instructions correctly. And that's not true. I did follow the instructions correctly. They were just inconsistent between patterns. So in this pattern, they didn't tell me to stuff the feet or the arms. Um, and so I didn't, and there is a huge difference between how this one looks versus this one. This one looks way better. Also, I shortened the arms by a row and it looks way better. And I'm really happy with it. The only thing that I omitted was the tail because the tail was a pain in the butt. So I decided forget the tail. But I really like how delicate it turned out. I really like it. If I want to, I need to um, tack the ears back because they flop down. And, uh, but I just, I need to do that. But I like it. The paint turned out pretty. I'm glad that I used what I had in stash to do it. And I think it turned out super nice. And it's very soft and very snuggly. And I'm, I'm glad I was able to do the review for this. I'm glad to have them. And I have the book, so, and I have plenty of yarn. So if I want to make one or two of these to sell at the flea market, I could. Um, I don't usually sell my crochet anymore, but if there is anything, like any of those lovies or anything that you would be interested in, just let me know. I would always be interested in taking a custom order. So just let me know. Um, you can always leave a comment or you can email me at Brianna dot and no Brianna Lentz dot business at gmail.com. Okay. So that is the crochet. I'm already working on my next one because I want to do a review of this other shop. And then I want to do a comparison between the two. And so far I'm really loving the pattern that I'm working on. 
from this other shop. Uh, another big thing is I have a finish that I want to share and I'm going to be fully finishing this today and sending this off in the mail tomorrow. The deadline is tomorrow, but we've had a lot going on, but I will not be late. I'll just be right up the deadline and sorry, I haven't, you know me, I'm not going to iron it until I have to. That's the back. I'll fall by it. You don't want to see that. Um, I have participated in the exchange hosted by Mrs. Jones Stitches, and last time she did a Blackbird design swap. This time it was a small to medium piece, uh, Brenda Gervais. And so my partner that I got partnered with likes fall, and so this is what I chose from Brenda Gervais. And so this is where the bittersweet blooms. And it is, uh, I stitched this on 36 count raw Edinburgh linen. I have fallen in love with it, one over two. This might be my new favorite fabric. I want all of it and I wanna stitch everything in it. But I love it, love it, love it. Um, I omitted the border, um, honestly, because I wanted to make sure that I could do a really good finishing for her. And so I didn't want to accidentally have like squiggly lines. And so, yeah, so I changed the colors. I changed, um, this pattern originally came out in 2014. So I just went off of what I saw in the picture and then what I had in stash that I felt represented the picture because in 10 years time, the likelihood that these colors exactly match now is very unlikely. So like this is Hayride, which I'm so glad I changed that. Um, I darkened this up. I, I just, I darkened a lot of it up and I'm really happy with the outcome. And I even like the variegation where the dark spots, like that's like a real pumpkin. And I just, I think it turned out really, really pretty. I will be stitching this for myself as well in the future. And I think it's like a small to medium piece and I love it. I got this offline for 10 bucks and I'm really glad that I did. I had the fabric and stash and everything else. And so I had this in mind for another project. So, oops, I'm gonna have to order some more, I guess. So yeah, I really like it. And I hope that the gal that I'm partnered with likes it too. So I'll make sure when I fully finish it that I'll take some video to share in my next video. So yeah, so I got that fully finished. Uh, well, I mean, I got it finished, but I will be fully finishing. So I stitched the Brenda Gervais piece. Oh wait, that's two Brenda Gervais. <laughs> so I did two of those, I'll put that there. Um, and then, I I had this, I was stitching this piece one over one on 25 count and I tried doing it again and I absolutely hated doing it. My stitches, like I didn't hate the process of it, but my stitches looked terrible. And so I had this and I DNF'd it. So I DNF'd a project, which I'm good with. And uh, I also, worked more I did not finish but I worked more on the Cricut collection of free range and so the last time you saw me I had the E and this time I have the E and the G sorry for crying out loud I love this chicken. So I am stitching this on 28 count beige Jobelin. Uh, it calls for something. It's presented on 30 count old mill Java over dyed linen from r, &R. Uh, if a solid color linen is preferred, 28 count white chocolate from Witchell is called for. I think this fits the bill pretty close. So yeah, I'm glad that I chose uh, that I stuck with this color and I, uh, the rest of it should go pretty fast. This was kind of tedious, but I love how her chicken came out. She did such a good job charting these chickens. And so I can't wait. I will be finishing this for sure. Uh, this spring. I don't know when exactly, like I had wanted to have it finished like in March. Other things took precedence in my life, but I'm happy that I'm continuing working on with that and I won't be doing the carrot because 
I just don't have time. Uh, let's see. Then. No, I don't have anything there to share. Uh, let's see. Then I guess I'll share haul. I'm at 34 minutes. We'll share haul and I guess we'll go from there. But I went to the Silver Needle because we were going to the Tulsa Zoo and I needed threads for my designs. And I knew that I wanted, like since I was gonna be there, I'd rather just pick out the colors, the patriotic colors. And so that is what I did. So I have a set of colors for one design and then I bought two, two and two, just in case I ran out of anything because I wasn't sure at that point if I'd be stitching it one over two or two over two. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna be stitching it two over two just because I have the fabric here. Like I, I, I was gonna do one over two in that fabric and then well, I have, a, I think I'm gonna do two over two. And so you will be seeing what these are for very soon. I have them designed and everything. I just have to stitch them up and I love them, love them, love them. So I have three, I have three coming up. You'll, you'll see, you'll see soon. So I'm gonna be a busy little bee, but I wanted to share my haul. Um, so first off in the 50% off section, I chose, there were so many good charts in the 50% off section, but I'd already like, I was, I was already up there. Um, so I chose this because you guys know, I love humor in my cross stitch. And so this is from Heartstring Samplery, the gobbler. It says the gobbler rides again. It looks like it should be a pretty quick stitch and it is so cute. I love it. Um, this is gonna have to get stitched right away. It says this is stitched with one thread over two on 28 count mystery linen. So pretty crazy. It looks like super good for being one over two. So yeah, so that, I got that from Heartstring Samplery. Um, I picked up my first Animal Cracker series. I got Maggie Mae. I chose Maggie Mae because uh, my daughter Jules loves bunny rabbits and her favorite color is yellow. And so when I saw this, I thought of her and her love for bunnies and her love for yellow. Um, it was hard to choose one, but that's what made me choose Maggie Mae. And so this is actually also stitched on that 36 count raw Edinburgh linen that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna have to get more and I wanna stitch this up and finish it like immediately. This is on my immediate radar. I picked up the new Prairie Schooler. How sweet is that? Love it. So I got the new 2024 Prairie Schooler. Um, I picked up Lady Dots Creates 100% cotton velveteen hand dyed and it's a fat eighth, which is 18 inches by 10 inches. And it is in the color navy bean. So I'm hoping to fully finish one of my designs with this on the background. I hope it matches the colors good enough. Uh, love it. So I've never worked with velveteen before. So this is my first Lady Dots purchase and my first vel velveteen purchase. Um, let's see. Witches Brew. Oh yeah, they had finally a Farm Girl Witches Brew. And I was so excited to see finally a Farm Girl at the Silver Needle that I knew I had to support, support Miss Finally a Farm Girl. And so I picked this one up because if you remember, there were two that I absolutely loved from her for a uh, Nashville needlework market and they had this one. They didn't have the other one. So I chose this one and it looks like it should be a pretty um, simple stitch, which I'm super stoked about. And it's uh, called on 28 count casual clay two over two with DMC, which is my type of stitching. So I would like to get this done before Halloween this year. Then I picked up this. They had some of the Prairie Schoolers in cardboard, which if you remember, I wanted to get more of these. Um, I got this for $7 and I bought this one in particular because it was the companion to my farm fresh. So I got this one. So now I have the ability to do all eight. So now I'm double glad, like I have the kit. So, I mean, these should all be the same colors. This has a lot less colors and looks a lot easier to stitch. These look way easier to stitch. So yeah, number 107 just hatched. And I wanna finish them, how cool would that be? So I'm, I'm only gonna do, my goal is only to have one done this year with all of my other crazy goals that I have. Um, and then at checkout, 
Uh, I got a little freebie to enjoy with compliments from the Silver Needle ladies. And it is the 2024 Book of Days, which I have never had before. There's a chart on the back. And so, yeah, I'm happy to have that. Ha very, very happy to have that. So it's cool to see this in person. So thank you, Silver Needle. And then I also got another complimentary um, pattern. But that is my haul from Silver Needle. So I've got a ton to do. I can't wait to share with you guys the designs that I have. Um, I should be able to stitch them up before I share it, like put them on for a sale. But if I don't, like if I'm just like, you know what, then maybe I'll just put them up with them as the um, model cover. We'll see. So yeah, I have tons of projects that I shared with you that I want to do. I have a lot of videos that I want to make. And so you guys are going to see a lot of me. Um, and I'm trying to go through and record a lot over the next two weeks. So that way I don't kind of fall off the face of the earth for a week. Um, I'm trying to be better about getting more content, like ready to go ahead of time versus like always on demand. And so that's something that I'm going to be trying to do uh, vigorously over the next two weeks. So you should be seeing vlogs, crochet videos, floss tube videos. You're going to be seeing my uh, Blackbird Designs bag video coming up next week, which I'm so excited to try that again. The kids and I have a lot of projects that we're going to be working on. I purchased for $10 um, this art series. I don't know how else to say it. I'll share more next time. And so maybe if we do that, I can do like a review on my thoughts of it, what I recommend it. That would be a good idea. So anyway, so we have a lot going on, but I'm going to have to wrap it up. I was going to insert some video footage. But I'm not going to be able to. Oh, here they are. Sorry, you guys. I love to hang in. But I think I'm just going to have to. Um, but these are the masks that we made. How sweet are these? Oh, I'm going to have to edit this video together because I had that blooper in the very beginning. This is what I made for Jason. The silver and purple one was Julesy's. I think that had food on it. This one is mine. And then this one is black and glittery and this one was Fiona's. So these were our masquerade masks. Not bad, huh? Not bad for a last minute make. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for being casual with me. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys have a good stitching week, good stitching couple of days. And I'll see you guys in my next project and in my next video. Bye.